Now, uh, we are where I go now. We are where I go now. Ordinarily, one will wonder why this 69 year old retired civil servant is weeping like a baby. But one sure thing is that this grandfather is not grieving over a dead relative. Morita Lajimo is actually weeping because his house will be pulled down in a matter of hours. It is to make way for the proposed Songo Ijoko Akuti Road. The state governor, Senator Ibikule Amoso, had earlier disclosed that the 32 kilometer highway that cuts across Ota, Ijoko, Agbado, Akute, and Ojudu would have two bridges and three flyovers. That's the only property I have. For God. Thousands of Pajimo's neighbors are equally dazed, although many have been moving their properties from their houses marked for demolition. They still can't believe this is happening. I don't, I don't even know where I'm parking to. I don't, I don't know where to go. I don't know. I, I was in the office when they just called me. They said they've started demolition. I said, what? You are demolishing people's houses without compensation. Where do you expect them to go? You are giving them two hours. Nuhu Arua, the owner of the clay house behind him, has been living in the area for the past 26 years. The 61-year-old man claims that despite having all the required papers, including a certificate of occupancy, the state government has not yet come up with a satisfactory compensation template for landlords like him. I have survey plan, I have approved building plan, I have certificate of occupancy. If I'm selling this house on my own, I know how much I will sell. From the experiences of some residents and motorists in the area, the daily traffic gridlock on this road is better reported than experienced. For several years now, residents of this community, especially those that work in Lagos, have been clamoring for road expansion or reconstruction of their roads. But now, the clamor is over. The sacrifice has begun. For now, those people whose houses have been demolished believe that they are being maltreated by the Ogun state government and they do not know what to do next. Obadiri, TVC News, Lagos.